someone did some fire magic to try to cause some type of brush fire, some type of flood in your life, flood of negativity, flood of misfortune, a brush fire of loss, okay? But it's like, you know how when the wind changes, this is why it's so critical to control a fire during like a forest fire, things like that, because the direction of the wind can change. And the direction of the wind has changed, okay? And that fire has started going in another direction. It's, it's ricocheted back towards the person who sent it. So, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this download that I received? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the message? What is the message at this time regarding this download that I received? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. We appreciate all of the insight and guidance that you have provided us with thus far, Holy Spirit. But what is the insight and guidance that you would have us to receive at this time? It was some type of fire magic that they did. But the wind changed direction. <clears throat> Eight of Cups. Clarify this Eight of Cups, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> I really feel like it's temperance. The fire changed direction. Like I just said. Temperance, fire energy. Temperance speaks of you can be biding your time when you're in temperance energy. You're, you're content with how things are playing out. But you are aware that balance is needed and the temperance comes into the highest vibration when you decide to balance that ebb and flow. It's literally an ebb and flow energy. When you know something isn't good for you, but you keep putting it up here, giving it more precedence in your life as opposed to what is better. Okay. The fire, this temperance energy was going in that direction that this person who sent it wanted it to go in for a time. But the wind changed and it cha it went in another direction. This was sent towards someone, but the direction of the energy changed. Things had to be balanced. And they're being balanced now. Will of Fortune. I'm trying to tell you what I'm picking up on. Y'all gonna stop playing with me one day. Okay? Think it's a game. Think it's a game. Somebody think it's a game. They think they got dang on playing some type of board game. That's what I'm getting off this Will of Fortune card. Like some Monopoly shit or some shit. I don't know. Like they think they can play with people fake. Like it's as simple as a board game. And it's not. OK, what they wanted to happen for somebody is now happening to them. They wanted to change somebody's fate. Now their fate is being changed. Who is this Holy Spirit? I just saw the King of Cups, but I'm going to let whatever come out on its own. Who is this <clears throat> Holy Spirit? Nine of Pentacles. Prince of Wands. The Chariot. So this, it looks like it's a nine of pentacles who sent this bold ass fire energy towards whoever I'm talking to with this chariot behind it. Okay. Child, I'm trying to tell you that's what they did. That's what they did. Okay. Either they sent this to a nine of pentacles or a nine of pentacles sent this out. We going to get clarity. Can I get some clarity on this Holy Spirit? The Empress. A Nine of Pentacles sent this to an Empress, a Divine Feminine. Okay? So, 
whatever this nine of, then this nine of pentacles is fly okay but this is why i talk to y'all about these cards it's really about the vibration of the card you can't just assume because you see a card that it automatically means something of a high vibration in particular because it really depends on the person's energy their spirit and their soul but this nine of pentacles looks like a divine feminine on the outside don't she she flies fuck really giving grace jones a lot of other women who rock this style so eloquently okay but on the inside she got some troubles it's some that's soul trouble for her to be, even be doing this type of shit towards a divine feminine who is fly too flyer because even though they both top notch on the outside this divine feminine possesses inner qualities that cannot be duplicated or imitated and that's this nine of pentacles problem with her okay well this empress card is beautiful i ain't never seen no empress card like this before okay she's very exotic that's what i'm getting from her and not exotic because of how she looks but because of all these distinct and unique qualities that this woman possess it's like a mosaic. Look at the energy on this card. Okay, she's a mosaic. That's what I'm hearing. Mm, okay, with the energy off these cards, I'm telling y'all, I ain't going to keep trying to put y'all on. But this empress is in the Ten of Pentacles, okay? That's just, that's just period. That's just what it is. And this Nine of Pentacles <clears throat> wants... To end that with this seven of swords with the world child shit. Okay, so she was doing something with this two of pentacles to cause a tower in this divine feminine's life. Okay, and then the prince of cups is right behind that. So it probably is in relation to some type of love interest. King of pentacles is right behind that. Okay. Moon right here behind that. Okay. So that's what it looked like here. That this woman was in this deceptive energy, sending this fire magic to try to cause some type of disaster in this divine feminine's life, possibly over a love interest. She was trying to cause a tower real hard in this woman's life. Ooh, look what was behind the King of Pentacles, y'all. The Three of Swords. But it's then caused some type of tower in her own. A lot of towers. Not just no one tower. This woman may be facing up to three towers. These three swords right now, it's representing up to three towers. This Nine of Pentacles may be currently dealing with as a result of trying to do what she did against this Divine Feminine. One of those towers is something has ended with a King of king of pentacles prince of cups because his love for her was very minute okay remember the moon was on the bottom but like i said i'm gonna just see let's see what come out let's see what come out we got the ten of wands this woman has had to give up her connection with this masculine okay but she been spying look at that fly on the card we know when we start seeing all these gnats and shit and a random fly in the middle of winter and shit, you know that's an indication that somebody is being nosy. They're trying to spy into your life. This woman is at the Ten of Wands with this connection with this masculine, but she has been spiritually spying, okay? And I guess in her spiritually spying, this is when she learned something about a divine feminine. Clarify this. Eight of Wands, communication. Look at this card. Look at this card. This woman been spiritually spying. Okay? With this Eight of Wands, receiving communication from the universe in any way she can. With all these different aspects of the brain being highlighted. Okay? She was she been trying to pull communication in all aspects. In order to find out what was going on with this King of Pentacles, Prince of Cups energy here. And for some reason, did this 
two of cups. I was just about to ask, did this man move on to this other woman here, this divine feminine? And we have the two of cups. So it looks like he has moved on and established a relationship with this divine feminine. That's this 10 of pentacles partnership. Okay. And this nine of pentacles is upset about it. Cause she was at one point in a partnership with this king of pentacles, but he has the ace of cups for this divine feminine. So she tried to do some type of brush fire magic in this woman life to cause destruction because she's now in a partnership with her ex, the high priestess with the queen of cups. We definitely got somebody with some damn Pisces out here for show. Ace of Cups, the High Priestess with the Queen of Cups, somebody of Pisces. This man has an Ace of Cups for this Divine Feminine, but I feel like this High Priestess, Queen of Cups is a different energy. This may be who did the, the um fire magic. Clarif Hold on, y'all. Okay. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Who is this high priestess queen of cups? The person who did the brush fire magic that I'm picking up on six of swords, four of cups. Well, hermit on the bottom. That's her. Ooh, with the hangman behind that child. So it's a Pisces high priestess energy who was employed by this nine of pentacles to make this divine feminine move on. One way or the other. If her life was being destroyed while she was in a partnership with this king of pentacles, they know a divine feminine is going to look around at the company she keeps first and foremost. Okay? If if things are popping off in your life, God, yes, God do give us challenges. He gives us battles. He get, He teaches us lessons. But if you are constantly going through a whole bunch of random bullshit, you need to pause and you need to stop projecting out. It was just 12, 12 when I looked up and you need to start self-reflecting. That means it's something that you are doing, somebody you keep in company with, something you have around you that is causing this negative karma in your life. That's just what it is. People can say what they want. Ooh, look what was behind the hangman. Now, I'm trying to tell you, the Holy Spirit says that's the truth, okay? <clears throat> so, these women knew if they were, this high priestess for show sure knew if she cloaked herself and sent this brush fire into this divine feminist life, now that she was in a partnership with this king of pentacles, she would think it was his energy that was causing the negative effect in her life, and she would get rid of him, Okay? You know, they, they got clever with it. You feel me? Because that's what a divine feminine would think. And that's what she should think. She should immediately stop and re-examine her life and see what she dealing, who she dealing with and what she may be doing or saying even, who she talking to. All those things play into what type of karma will ricochet back into your life. And she realized that she would realize that it's who's around her generally, who you talking to, who you dealing with, who you sleeping with, all of that matters. Okay. So she would think it's this King of Pentacles fault that she was facing all this misfortune and loss, but that's not what happened. Y'all that's not what happened here. I'm telling you that shit redirected, clarify Holy Spirit. Cause see these people in the four of wands still six of cups. They reunited, and it felt so good. Okay, I'm trying to tell you. It's feeling so good to them right now. I'm picking it up, y'all. Okay, these people ain't hurting, but somebody is with this Five of Pentacles. Somebody in the Nine of Swords, it looked like that, that brain that this um, Nine of Pentacles has on her. Who was doing all that spiritual spying. Look how that shit coming back on her. Because you shouldn't be doing that. So now she's being plagued. By what she was utilizing. To initially spiritually spy on this couple. She in the five of pentacles. I'm telling you this brush fire. She wanted this woman to be. In the five of pentacles. In the nine of swords. 
And that's exactly what's happening in her life. Okay? What about this high priestess queen of cups? Because this energy is falling right up under her as well. I feel like this woman is under the same judgment. The emperor is on the bottom. With the eight of pentacles. I'm telling you, this man had moved on. He is in a Ten of Pentacles partnership with a Divine Feminine. He is invested, fully invested in this partnership. This man is in a solid commitment. I'm not picking up any type of infidelity here, okay? Whatever he had going on with this Nine of Pentacles was prior to this partnership with this Divine Feminine. She was never a third party to this Nine of Pentacles. This Nine of Pentacles just don't like that he dropped her and got with a divine feminine. That's just it. And she employed a high priestess to do spirit, send spiritual warfare towards this woman, but it has ricoch ricocheted back into both of these people's lives. Because this man is still in the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so if she in the Ten of Pentacles... He is the uh, king of pentacles with the eight of pentacles with the emperor. They, these people ain't hurting for nothing. Okay? But this high priestess and this nine of pentacles is. They are. Ooh, what was this? That Let's see what fell, child. I was trying to fall. King of cups, princess of swords. I feel like this King of Cups card attests to how much love, how he, how he's matured when it comes to love, okay? Because remember, he came out as a Prince of Cups for this Nine of Pentacles. He didn't have that much love for that woman. So that relationship was not bound to last, okay? He was going to eventually cut her off with this Princess of Swords. He was going to eventually cut her off. I feel like this man is still in this energy. Despite what this nine of pentacles may try to do to make it seem like she's more appealing. This man still don't want this woman. He still wants to be with this divine feminine. If she fall, he going to catch her. I'm telling you, six of pentacles. So, yeah, they trying to cause loss for her. And I'm also hearing that they... We're trying to make this man think they were doing the same thing with both of these people. They were trying to make both of these people think that like this man, they wanted this man to think too, that if he, when he got with this divine feminine and she started losing everything that she really was a karmic, that she really wasn't divine because she couldn't hold on to these possessions, possessions that she had or somehow acquired to appear as a divine feminine. This is the game they was trying to pull on him too, y'all. Clarify, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. I'm hearing that. But what I'm, three of cups, but what I'm also, yeah, because look how the three of cups fell on this ten of cups. They wanted this man to think that she was just somebody that he could celebrate and have a good time in the dark, in the shadows with. Look, that's them back there. They didn't want this man to think that this woman was a ten of pentacles energy they wanted her, him to think that she was just a three of cups energy okay clarifying what i just said but what they weren't gonna get about that even if they were able to cause misfortune and loss for this woman this man got it he got it okay he gonna make sure she's straight because she with him if she lose what she got prince of swords is out here These women were trying to be very clever. They were trying to be very witty. They were trying to outwit this man and this woman. But these are two divine beings. So even if this woman felt like this king of pentacles was causing her negative karma somehow. So she would be tapped in enough to get a download from the most high to know that this is just some type of ploy from an outside source some type of effort okay this is some some type of 
ego move that this nine of pentacles has made because see she's she's very self-absorbed she's very concerned with the outer aesthetic she she don't have that inner soul quality that this divine feminine possess her ego really has gotten the best of her and i feel like this divine feminine will realize that this is an egotistical move that's coming from an outside energy 2020 she would have clear vision of what was going on here and she would continue to triumph over the situation and have a victory with this masculine with this seven of wands and the six of wands she would face the challenge because she knows that this was some she would be the universe would reveal to her would whisper in her ear that this is some type of spiritual warfare someone doesn't want to see you build a nest with this masculine shout out to that nest on my reef y'all to chop go look at my stories y'all a bird has built a nest on top of my reef i was about to change my reef out for the spring and i saw the nest i put the video on my channel that's what i'm getting look at this nest it's all kind of opportunities possibilities excursions like I'm seeing Vegas on this card with this dice. I'm seeing money. I'm seeing flower energy. I feel like that represents the love. This, this bird is holding an olive branch. Okay. This, this king of pentacles extending an olive branch to his divine feminine. Once he disconnected from this nine of pentacles and it helped him evolve into an emperor when he, Finally got with his divine counterpart. And the possibilities are endless. They have all kind of items in this nest. Okay. So this woman is going to defend her nest. Okay. That's what I'm getting from all of that. I don't know what happened. Just <laughs> I was channeling y'all. But yes, honey. She, she, she would have enough sense to know that it was a, it was a trick of the devil. Okay. And he would too. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Child, justice done flew out here. I'm trying to tell you, these people ain't slow. They ain't no, they, we ain't calling them no divine beings for, for no reason. They are tapped in enough to know that they have outside forces who don't want to see them together. And if any type of energy, the moon, I'm trying to tell you. I don't know who I'm talking to. This is a divine couple that's currently together. And I feel like this man already knew this woman. This ain't nobody he just met after he broke up with this nine of pentacles. He already knew her, but they were not in any type of connection. Clarify, Holy Spirit. I don't believe that at all. King of Wands. This man was free and unencumbered when he came towards this divine feminine. He was not cheating and still sneaking and seeing this divine feminine on the side while he was dealing with this nine of pentacles. And for her to be coming out as a nine of pentacles, let's just say they might have been dating and sleeping together, but this man wasn't fully committed to her. Not yet. He was thinking about it, though, I'm sure. But he chose another route. He chose his divine counterpart, okay? That's facts, y'all. Anything else? Holy Spirit wants y'all to know. I'm talking about, for real, the magician with the princess of wands. This is, this is, I feel like this is going to be another attempt to do that spell. I do. But this print, this, I do feel like it's that, but I do feel like it's also this. Cause, cause y'all gotta know, and I, I know y'all know, cause I, I know you know who, who I'm talking to. I know you know how to read tarot too. You know the meaning, meanings of these cards. You're not being blindly led by anyone. Okay. So, you know, cards have various energies and I'm also picking up. That this king, of when he freed himself from this situationship he was in with this, this nine of pentacles, he saw the potential 
he it's like he finally woke up to who his ideal counterpart was with this princess of wands and with this divine feminine being representing this princess of wands he should have been took action with this woman long ago that's what he know he knew that when he freed himself from this last relationship he was in he wasn't you know whatever you want to call it connection damn it okay somebody understand what i'm saying because he had love for her he had love for her back then too now with this princess of cups i feel like he he probably could see how he could have made his wishes come true with her back then she's this princess of cups energy he he sees that he he realized that before he reconnected with her. Okay, so this man is where he want to be. And if this woman ever did face any type of adversity, he going to be right there with her. And she if he ever faced any type of adversity, she going to be right there with him. Because they know it's a trick of the devil and they know the promises that God has already made for them and that they've already lived in and existed within their life. Like these people are doing good. These people ain't hurting. So they know if all of a sudden some bullshit pop off and they've been out here doing what they supposed to be doing, committed to each other and living and doing right. They know that's some outside force coming with it, trying to come in with this type of shit right here, this seven of cups and this eight of swords. Trying to get them to lay their partnership to, to rest. So they're going to continue to remain. Ooh, what was behind this four of swords? Princess of Pentacles. Because they, look, these people know that this nine of Pentacles wants to be this man's partner. They know that. They know who, is, if anybody is spiritually attacking them, that this this damn crazed ex. Because that's what she is. She didn't hire a whole spiritual practitioner to try to stop these people's lives together. To try to trick them into thinking that they're not divine counterparts so she can be with this man. But these people are going to continue to remain in this sun, hyphen energy. I'm tired of talking about it, okay? <laughs> I'm dropping the mic. I'm trying to tell you it's getting redundant. That brush fire magic ain't going to fuck up nobody's life but they own. Because this woman is thinking about doing that shit again. Okay? Because it's fucking up her life right now. But I don't think she realizes that that's the effect of her doing that to this divine feminine. And this divine masculine. Primarily this divine feminine though. They really wanted to make her look like she was a three of cups and not a ten of pentacles. Okay? But it didn't work. And it's not going to. So I digress. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. She is about to try this again. I just heard that again. Oh, well, for her, though, because that wind going to redirect just like it did in this this time she tried it this, this first time. That shit she tried to do, that shit finna redirect once again back into her life. But if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I will be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace. <laughs>